Hello YouTube, on this how-to installment of allthingslife.tv, we take a closer look at setup and use of the Playtex Diaper Genie Complete. Plus, stay tuned, at the end of this video I'll share one tip that has nearly doubled the capacity of diapers I'm able to store in one single Diaper Genie refill. Ryan Erickson here for allthingslife.tv, where we explore and review household ordinary to tech extraordinary. We put the products we review to use for at least 20 days in our daily lives and then give you the lowdown on how they stack up, sharing along the way any tips and tricks we've learned for optimal use. Be sure to subscribe to the allthingslife.tv channel by clicking the button above. You never know what products will be coming across our review desk next. Today, let's talk about setup and use of the Playtex Diaper Genie Complete. This product comes shipped in three separate pieces, the main body, the top head, and the front canister door assembly. Start by assembling the top door assembly onto the main body. Align the top door assembly and firmly press it into the base. Next, install the front canister door by inserting it at an angle into the main body and closing the door. Once the unit is assembled, check to be sure that the foot pedal operates the top door correctly. Also, don't forget to install the carbon filter pack in the bottom of the top door assembly. Finally, install the bag by pulling and removing the plastic tab from the top of the refill canister. Remove a few inches of bag and pass it down through the middle of the refill canister. Then, take the bag and insert it into the top of the diaper genie, passing through and into the main chamber. Knot the bag and pull to the bottom of the canister chamber. You're all set. As promised, the single tip I have for you to maximize your diaper genie bag capacity is to be frugal when you go to change your bags. Let me demonstrate. When your diaper genie is full, the inclination is to just simply open the door, take the bag, pull off some excess, insert it into the cutter, tie a knot, and dispose. Notice that if I were to do this, I've used approximately enough bag to cover the entire height of the canister, roughly 16 to 20 inches, not including any excess required to tie a knot at the bottom and top of the bag. That's quite a bit of bag. Instead of just opening the canister and cutting the bag, let's take advantage of how much diapers will compress. I start by removing the front canister door. This gives me much better access to be able to work with the diaper bag. Start at roughly the midpoint of the bag and start compressing the diapers. I'm just pushing and removing all of the air between the diapers and slowly working my way up towards the top of the pail. Next, spin the bag a few times to lock it in place. You've now compressed what was 16 to 20 inches worth of diapers down to approximately eight or 10 inches of bag. After spinning a few inches into the top of the bag, insert into the cutters, cut, and knot the top of the bag. There we go, all set. What was 16 to 20 inches has been compressed down into about eight to 10 inches of bag. A pretty good savings. Finally, don't forget to tie a knot in the bottom of the bag and prepare the diaper genie for the next use. So when you tie your knot, be sure you don't waste a bunch of bag in the bottom of the knot. Finally, pull enough bag to reach the bottom of the canister. Reinstall the canister door. And you're ready for the next use. Thanks for joining me for this guide on the setup and use of the Playtex Diaper Genie Complete. Be sure to subscribe to the allthingslife.tv channel. Do you use a diaper genie? If so, share your tips and tricks in the comment section below.